this is a video alert for you owners of older Mercedes-Benz, you know, like from about the, the mid to late 80s right on up into the early 2000s. And the alert has to do with this part right here. That's kind of an interesting looking gizmo, isn't it? I'm sure some of you know what this is or have seen it. It sits right down in this tank. This is the tank that holds your window washer fluid. And this is a heater. It uses hot engine coolant that r goes right down through this coil and out the other side to help heat up the window washer fluid. Well, guess what happens when these cars get old? Now, this car you're looking at right here is 22 years old, and this has developed a problem. And the problem will first show up, unless you're aware of this, It'll first show up when you run your window washers and you squirt the liquid on the windshield and it starts streaking on you. Kind of like, what is that stuff? You know, it's leaving kind of an oily film on my windshield. That's the first clue that you have a problem with this part right here because these do develop leaks right down here at this component. This is, this is the thermostat control. They can leak right out the end here, or there's some seals right in here. This can loosen up, and you can have coolant going right into your window washer tank. So if something's going funny on your windshield, check this out. If you are starting to lose coolant, and you don't know where it's going, check this out. And if you look down and see <laughs> the, the fluid rising up inside this tank then you know there's a problem now I checked this tank out and you can see here it it started to show some pretty nasty looking uh, window washer fluid so I decided hey come on let's just avoid the problem altogether and let's remove this and you're gonna say well Kent why would you want to remove this okay if you have a car that's fairly new you live in a, a, a very cold climate and you really need to have your window washer fluid heated, then I would say go ahead and, and fix this. A lot of times it requires replacement of this part right here, or you can remove it and check the seals to see if they're okay. But for a lot of these older cars, particularly in, in the Pacific Northwest here, I don't believe this is really necessary. In fact, all Mercedes, a lot of the W201 chassis didn't even have these. These started showing up in the, in the W124s, the late W126, and then they went right on up into the 210 chassis. You know, my 2000, 210, uh, 430 uh, has one of these. So what I, what I recommend, if you don't need this little part right here, if you don't need hot window washer fluid, I recommend you just bypass it. Let me show you a couple ways that you can do this. This is how the, uh, the coil heater fits into the tank. And you can see that it's routed up through the cap. And then you have a couple hoses coming into it. On this particular car, you have a hose coming off this auxiliary electric pump, water pump that comes up and goes in here. And then the other hose goes down over and goes to this line that goes in, in behind the false firewall. So there's a couple ways you can, you know, block this off. First thing is you want to get the hoses off and you can get this out like this and take it out of the cap. If you feel you need to, you can find something to plug those holes in the cap. But what I've been able to do here is, is uh, in this particular case, I was able to take the hose coming up here and cut it shorter and run it directly onto that metal pipe. You see that right there? Makes a nice clean installation. I can discard the other hose and I'm ready to go. I do not need to worry anymore about this ever being a problem on this particular car. If, you, if you're not able to do that, what you can do is get a nipple. You'll need a 5 16 inch nipple and you, of course, plug it in there and then plug it in the other one and you may have to cut one of the hose, hoses a little shorter and then use two clamps. So what you're doing is you're clamping both hoses together. But in this case, preferably, if you can, route the one hose right into the pipe and you're done. So I hope that tip is helpful. And if you have one of these and you're suspicious it might be causing a problem, then I, I recommend you just go ahead and remove it.